How's it going guys? Welcome to Rad Tad Recipes. And uh, today we're going to be making my famous dip. Today, what we're going to be making is a, it's a, it's a dip that you can bring to like any event, party, occasion, um, Super Bowl party, birthday party, Mother's Day, any, any day. You want to save, you know, from fat calories, you can just go ahead and get like the turkey sausage at a, you know, in your lean section, organic area in the supermarket. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it down, you know, you're gonna grind it all up like kind of like ground beef. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a rotel, mild and hot, depends on how hot, you can play with, you know, how much you wanna put a beach in. You kind of, you mix it in there. block of cream cheese. That's going to be the um, the thickening agent in this um, dip of ours. But yeah, this dip is killer. Like, I mean, every time I bust this out, everybody, you know, like, it seriously is like gone in 15 minutes. And this is like high quality, like lean meat. It's only three bucks. Um, you know, block of cream cheese is dollar. You know, Roma tomatoes, maybe two bucks for the two cans. Also, what we're going to be using today is this, while that cooks. Um, we're going to be using mozzarella cheese and Mexican four cheese. It's going to be the, the top, the topping of this kind of dish that we're putting it in. As you can see, it's starting to simmer, so when this cream cheese melts down, that's when you know it's time to like throw the heat. And you know, make sure you, you know, cook the meat all the way. You don't want any kind of food poisoning. You know what it likes to Poor TJ. You gotta melt all that cream cheese down in there and that meat. Let it all soak up. Let those tomatoes and those juices and everything just kind of like swindle together. Keep it at a simmer, maybe like medium high. I'm adding the cucumber and tomato now. It's already in there. And then uh, I'll keep this for like the topping. I took the contents from the saucer and I put it into this pan that's actually able to go in the oven. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create the cheese topping. And then after that, you're basically just going to pop it in 350 for about you know 15 minutes or as long as it takes for the cheese to melt. After that, you're going to take it out and let it cool for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> Perfect, just in time. Let's do it right. Now this is gonna need a lot of time to cool down. First, topping with basil leaves. It's always a good idea. It'll set black pepper. Always put a little spice in your life. Fresh tomatoes. Fresh cucumber. Making good food better. <laughs> 